Hey guys, I think it's fair to say that the upcoming Tesla pickup truck, all electric truck, also known as the Cybertruck, is one of the most highly anticipated debuts of this year. I think so, at least as the truck world is concerned. It's being unveiled this Thursday evening in California and TFL Truck is gonna be there to bring you all the news. But in this video, what I wanted to do with the help of Tommy is give you our top 10 of requirements needed to make the Cybertruck from Tesla a huge success. This is what we want to see from it because we don't know what it's gonna look like yet or what the specs, the actual specs will be. My first item on the list is it has to look like a tough truck. It cannot be aerodynamic or sleek or look like a jelly bean. I think it needs to look like a truck and it has to be sized approximately the same as a four-door crew cab Ford F-150. The Ford F-150 is the best-selling vehicle in the country for a reason, well, for many reasons, but partially it's the size. It's not too huge, yet it's not too small, and it has the capability to support most people's needs. Next on my list is the Cybertruck from Tesla must be at least as good as far as specs and the features as the upcoming Rivian R1T truck. The Rivian truck is supposed to hit the market at the very end of 2020, maybe early 2021. And it's actually sized a little bit smaller than the F-150, but I think the Tesla Cybertruck uh, should be a little bit larger to accommodate the needs of most families and most workers out there. But it still has to have some of the same attributes. The Rivian is promising about 400 miles of total driving range with their biggest battery pack, which is 180 kilowatt hours. And I think that's a good range for an empty truck. But we all know, and we've learned this after towing with the Model X, we've towed about 4,400 uh, pounds and also 2,000 pounds, and the range goes down dramatically, sometimes a third of what it was to begin with. And if your driving range with a trailer is about 100 miles or 150 miles, that's tough to go cross country or anywhere for your overlanding trip, your vacation, etc. So I think the point the key point of success here is your truck needs to be able to tow a reasonably sized trailer at least 200 miles before recharging another requirement in my book for a successful new truck is it has to have at least one or two or maybe three very unique features for example the gmc sierra trucks have the multi-pro tailgate with multiple folding options. The new Ram 1500 have a Barnstar tailgate. The new Rivian prototype has a drawer, pulling out drawer. Of course, the Bollinger has the pass-through where you can load long items into their trucks. Uh, Tesla Cybertruck needs to have a couple of features similar to that, but unique to them. I don't know if it's maybe an extendable bed that can change length folding cab structure, four door to two door. I don't know what it may be. I'm sure Elon Musk and his team have thought about some crazy unique feature to put on this truck, but it needs to have that to stand out. Next on my list is price. Elon Musk has teased us about some of the pricing capability for the upcoming truck. And he said something like, you know, it could be between 40 and $50,000 range to start and then go from there with options and more capability. I think uh, if that's true, I think that's really great. 
I think my entry point would be about 50 grand realistically to start for a base Cybertruck from Tesla. If it's higher than that, for example, the Rivian truck will start at around 62, 65,000 bucks. Uh, if it's much higher than that, then you're getting into more luxury territory and it becomes less accessible to a lot of people. Now I want to hear from Tommy. Tommy, what are your top requirements for a Cybertruck? Hey, so Tommy here on location at the 2019 Los Angeles Auto Show and I wanted to give you guys my top three requirements I think Tesla needs to go after if they're going to be super successful with the reveal of the upcoming Cybertruck or Cybertruck. Now Andre thinks this vehicle needs to be about the same size as the current fleet of half-ton trucks and I don't think Tesla's going to do that. I want to see them go berserk. I want this truck to be the size of a 3500, a Ram 3500, a Ford F450 or 350, maybe a Chevy Silverado 3500. I want this thing to be a big, bad, in-your-face truck, the ultimate expression of EV capability of EV trucks. And as such, I think it needs a massive battery pack, 400 kilowatt hours. I think it needs to go three, 400 miles of range, 200 miles towing, and I think it needs to tow upwards of 20,000 pounds. I wanna see these guys go wild. I wanna see the max capability that electricity can do in an EV truck. I'm talking a lot of ground clearance, maybe 12, 13, 14 inches. I want to see a big set of off-road tires, 35s is what I'm expecting, and I want them to be chunky, maybe mud terrains, all terrains, but it has to be more than that. It has to have the off-road chops underneath. So the batteries, I'm quite sure will be underneath the vehicle, but they need to be super protected. I'm talking major skid plates so that you can bash them into rocks not damage the cells. Uh, suspension, I think it's probably going to be independent suspension. Solid axles is probably going to be a, a bit of a stretch if we're being honest, but even still independent suspension, I'd love to see something cool with the suspension, maybe air hydraulic suspension, Fox shocks or King shocks or something that would make this truck compete with a Raptor. Now Andre said 50 grand he's expecting this truck to be. I'm thinking more like 80, 90, 100, maybe $120,000. Tesla is going to have to shock the world with this vehicle if they want to really make an impact with it. So I think it's going to be very expensive. Not an accessible truck, just a crazy cool ultimate expression of what an EV truck can do. So we've got a tremendous amount of potential energy stored in these packs. Why don't we put it to use other than something than driving the vehicle down the road? So maybe a 240 volt outlet for power tools, maybe an air compressor for air tools. I'd love to run a jackhammer off the side of the Cybertruck. I want this thing to be crazy. You know, Andre is expecting it to be kind of a reasonable entry into the pickup truck world. I think Tesla needs to go wild. They need to shock the world like they did with the original Roadster, like they did with the crazy fast Model S's. And then in the future, they can dial it back and release a more reasonable everyman truck. But they need to go for that wow factor. That's what I'm expecting this coming Thursday. And that's what I think you should be expecting as well. I think the key point behind the Cybertruck is that it has to be easily serviceable, easily upgradable. For example, if I wanted to put a slightly larger tire on the truck, I can do that. If I want to put a roof rack or a bed rack on it, I should be able to easily do that. Maybe even add a winch. And of course, what about that rooftop tent? I must be able to put one of those on the truck as well. Of course, another key point behind any new electric vehicle is for it to be easily rechargeable. And Tesla is near the forefront in this space. They have a network of superchargers across the country and it's getting easier and easier to charge your Tesla. And I think they need to continue that. But if you're towing and your realistic range could be quite low, maybe 200 miles or less. You need to be able to easily recharge with a trailer. What we found after towing with the Model X is that it's hard to pull up to some of those chargers or a lot of those chargers with a trailer because you need to back in to a spot to accept the plug. And when you have a trailer, you obviously cannot do that. So you need to have more pull through stations that are easily, allow you easily to charge. Of course, the charging has to be quick. Currently, the Tesla can be charged to about 80% in about an hour, and that's good, but I think those times need to come down to make this truck more competitive with traditional gas and diesel pickups. 
Finally, and I think this is probably the most important point here, the new Tesla pickup truck needs to come to market within a reasonable time. Yes, it debuts this week. Yes, we'll learn a lot about it. But if it's not on sale within three years, does it really matter? Because the Rivian R1T truck will be there um, within a year or maybe a year and a half. A Bollinger truck should be on sale within the same time period. Um, and then, of course, Ford is promising their F-150 electric truck. GM is working on their trucks. So if we have to wait two, three or four years for the Cybertruck to come to market and actually be reasonably priced, I think that's too long. I think competition is moving also at a very quick pace. So for the Tesla Cybertruck to be very successful, it needs to come sooner rather than later. And guys, come back to tfltruck.com and the TFL Truck YouTube channel for all the coverage this week for the new upcoming Tesla pickup. Thanks.